I never talked to Jordan, that's for sure. I never talked to Kevin. But the, your little sweet Kevin wasn't so sweet when I was leaving. Yeah, but that's just... Your little you sweet too. Jordan wasn't sweet all the time. Okay, but I'm talking about reality. I'm you know what I mean? Saying, just everybody stay does with me. That. When I'm making a point about reality, <laughs> stay here. <laughs> has nothing to do with it. Yeah, I know. And your answers have nothing to do with anything. I can't take it. I might as well talk to that you, you get so emotional. <laughs> like talking to a road cone. Get in your spaceship out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I think that both Kevin and Natalie played a lot better than Jordan to get to where they're at. That's my opinion. You guys had many, many times, every one of you, to vote Jordan out of the house. She was on the block a lot, and nobody did. Right. So obviously, something was there that you guys liked, so that's playing the game. She got me out, and she stayed in longer than you, Jeff. This is the hardest one. I think Jordan is the sweetest girl and the nicest girl in the house, and I have no problem saying that. What do I think her best move was? Attaching herself to one of the stronger players in the game, and that's you. But what was Jordan's power play move in the game? because I'm looking at the game and I look at Jordan and I don't see anything that really stands out. What are Natalie and Kevin's power play moves? Kevin won four things. Yeah. Two vetoes, an HOH, and an endurance. So so did Jordan. Jordan. Kevin didn't no, need to win that veto. Kevin. Jordan got a win handed to her by you, won a veto when it a wasn't necessary. So that's two. And she just oh, won she one just right won, now. Yeah, so that's three. So well, that's three. three. Wins a win. She really latched on to you. You were her protector. Yeah, but when I told her when someone was good or when I needed someone close to us or when I didn't, so that was you exactly what you did the work. Yeah, but you yeah, did but the she work. Did the work. I didn't do it. She was your little marionette that danced when you told her to. Listen, first of all, don't even go there because Jesse's hand's already going like this with you. So don't oh, even get me really? started. I'm puppet master. Hey, hey okay. I'm right here, buddy. Sorry. If you man. want to address me, you can just talk to me. I've had enough of that. All you right. Squash Jesse, that. your hand's up her back. Actually, and no, it's not. She's talking. She's she's a woman. Play your strings in sync. Let's touch on that. Don't say anything negative about Jordan. I just want to throw that out there. No, I won't. Okay. So, yeah, then don't so expect me to so say about so, that's so, fine. Exactly. So that. neither are you. So I knew every person that I was going to put up to get out of the house, I had to take full you know, credit for. By no means was it Natalie that actually persuaded me into that. So if you guys even think for a minute that she was the one that did it, no, it wasn't her skin that you guys were going after. It was me. Natalie, I don't think, deserves even to be in this position at all, okay? She didn't do anything the whole game. She kissed ass to every single person that was in HOH. You were by far the strongest player the first couple weeks in the house. You definitely... Thank you, Jeff. Take it easy. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Dude, this room doesn't fit your head and we're outside. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> you were the strongest player in the house. She latched on you. you. You're gone. Shima was HOH. Latched on to Shima. You know, and then just disrespected everyone else. Her being 18 or 24 or 96, who cares? She acted like she was 12. That's what she acted like. We have a lot to talk about, guys. There's three people left. Hayden, Lane, and Enzo. That's a grenade. But would you argue that the reason that this brigade and alliance worked was due to the fact that literally they got lucky? They slid through and literally floated by because we were too busy taking each other out and let them make it to the final three. Well, Did they get lucky? No, no, they no, didn't get I wouldn't say that. No, I don't think it was lucky. It was strategy. Really they're where they're at yeah, I mean, because yeah. of it. I just don't see how they had this big strategic plan that none of us saw. If they were so strategic, why did I win two HOHs? You don't have to be good in competitions if you have the vote. Four people does not control the votes. It's, it's not, not four, four votes. votes, it's seven. It's seven. Votes. They bring people on board with them. I would disagree. I don't think Hayden had good gameplay at all. I think he was manipulated by everyone that he formed alliances with and that they told him what to do and he did it. I think I would like to talk about the competitive play because I think that is an issue because I feel right now that the people remaining in the game, I don't feel like they are competitors. Rachel did her song and dance every single week about how she hates floaters, yeah. but she's the biggest floater in the house. Rachel floated to the HOH, whoever was the HOH, and tried to be friends with them. If she didn't play like that, I, I would be upset with her because she'd be sitting right here out with us. Being a strong competitor, able to change up your strategy halfway through the game, that's what I think it takes to be a good game player. Being annoying as she was, no offense, she made it through the end. The way that she treated people was terrible, yeah. absolutely terrible. Well, I've always said she's uh, as smooth as a rhinoceros in a uh, China store. <laughs> I guess for me, I don't understand at any point where you viciously, maliciously tear people out personally and then send them off with half a million dollars. I struggle with that. Shelly, you lied to 
everybody. I know. And you said a lot of mean things, too, about Rachel. You've said things about Danny. You've said things about Kalia. You've said things about Portia. I still think that Rachel's level is different and that it wasn't strategic. So you feel like you're rewarding somebody for that behavior. You guys had opportunities to get her out. Couldn't be that brutal because it's brutal. There's a lot of things she's done. Well, I'm saying you guys could have done something about it if really in your heart you felt that disgusted about it. Yeah. Think about really it. Hard. I mean, as far as Portia goes, I've talked to her mm -hmm. seriously yeah. about eight minutes the whole time we were in the house. But maybe you guys could argue reasons why she does deserve it, and I would like to hear. I mean, I Portia. think Portia has played the game, but when there isn't a need for you to jump out and do something, why would you jump out and put a bulls on your back? You say, let me be quiet and shut my mouth and let me, like, chill until it's time for me to play this game. Portia has done nothing in this game. She just walked around in a bikini, cooked. I didn't even know she was in the house till day 52. Portia has played enough that she's where she is, and she won when she needed what, to. You're not giving me anything. What, why, That's what, what I'm giving Portia... you. Give me an example. Like, she just won the veto when she was on the block. She won the veto the week of the double eviction with you and then won the next HOH. I mean, she won when she had to. And yeah. you think Portia played a better game than Adam. than Adam? Portia wasn't playing the game till day 50. I just, but Portia didn't really do much of anything. The only time I ever heard her talk strategy is when you and Portia played Danny's game. Oh, we played Danny's game? You okay. guys talked about Danny's game. Let me just like, clear it all up. Let me just clear it all up for everyone. We don't so need to be knows, cleared I'm up. I'm going to clear it up, actually. I need to clear it up. But please, by all means, I will say until the cows come freaking home that I did not play Danielle's game. I played my own game. The cows came home. You did write. The cows did not, and I did not okay. play anybody's okay. game. I'm just trying to tell you. That's fine. We were Let me talk. Okay, bully attack is one on one. Surprise, surprise. You're the one yelling louder than me. I played my own game. We played together. End of story, period. Well, well good point. I guess the show's over then, Julia. Okay, let's go. Okay. Meeting adjourned. They gotta be thinking that Dan's gotta get out of that house. Um, I know it put a big smile on my face if I saw Dan walking through those bushes. <laughs> I got blindsided by Dan. Oh, <laughs> How are you guys? You might cry, because it, it's like the worst blindside of the season. Really? It's, <gasps> let's just say Danielle had the POV and the HOH, and somehow I was sent home. I'm so you're blindside. saying Danielle blindsided you? I don't know if her and Dan are working together or if Dan just got to her ear, or if Dan just got to her ear. He convinced her to use the POV on him, and okay. I was the replacement nom, and he sent me home, so. Would you really think that her and I don't know. Dan weren't working Maybe, together? I don't know. Maybe Dan just pulled a fast one on Danny. It's hard for me a little bit to want to vote for Ian, because he did stab Mike and Ash and myself in the back. But he could have stuck with, with me, and he could still be in, as deep in the game as he is right now. We don't know that, but you always say that everyone should have stuck with you. Like, to well, me, no, that's I mean, the most frustrating I'm saying that point I, I, that I wish made. Dan would have. Ian's been a rat all this time. The kid's been ratting Frank and Boogs out the whole time. I mean, where I come from, rats eat cheese. You know what I mean? The snitching thing, that makes me sick. It is absolutely going to be affecting my vote. Yeah, this is the game and everything, but it, it, it sets me on fire that he did something like that. There is, however, a life manual. Some of us go by that. Agreed. Yeah, there's been people win this game that didn't play it unethically. But we were all sneaky, and we all lied to each other's faces and had handshakes and Agreed. said, oh, everything is cool. We've all done those same things as well here. Oh, man. Why are Dan's lies worse than anybody else's? Putting your hand on the Bible and swearing on the Bible is much worse than just saying, hey, I'm not going to vote for you or I'm going to vote for you. You can say, hey, this is a game, but we're still living our lives within within those walls. If Dan and Judas were in the final two, Dan might have my vote. Okay. <laughs> so proud of that one. <laughs> might. It's not what, you, what she did. It's what she didn't do. What that did she not do? She did not really play the game up until she joined the Exterminators Alliance. She kicked you out. <laughs> exactly. And she got into the Exterminator Alliance, and they most likely advised her to do so. I think it's awesome that you couldn't manipulate her because you could manipulate so many people, and the fact that you couldn't manipulate her makes me want to vote for her even more. But I came here to play a game, and for me, a lot of things were personal. Candace, it sounds like you are voting solely based on character. Yeah. Gina Marie really hurt me. He never got personal. And Andy knew how to say things to people. He was very well-spoken. Um, Gina Marie was very blunt. If we were going to give it on those two people, I think Andy just played a more tactful game.
Steve's a rat. Yeah. <laughs> I do not like Steve's game at all. He had protection from the twins. He had protection from me for a while. Everyone kind of open arms brought him in. Vanessa had to fight for herself. And Vanessa can think on her own. He came to me for a lot of decisions that he made. I'm gonna kind of piggyback off of that. I'll never forget, it was the double eviction. He had just evicted Jackie. He was hysterical. And maybe, you know, I wouldn't vote for him is because he could not um, own up to his, you know, decisions. And he was a little cowardly. Liz should not win this game. Ugh. I feel like she rode someone else to the end. Literally? <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> her nominations weren't best for her game. When she wins her first HOH, who goes on the block? Two people that are going after Vanessa. And I just never understood that. All of the decisions that Liz made make sense for what she was doing to protect her alliance. I'm like such a cheerleader for Liz right now. I think of Liz being a duo. I think she can win competitions, but when I think about strategy and gaming, I think of Austin. They were a good duo, but as an individual, I didn't see it. He said some hurtful stuff. Paul, he won those vetoes and, and pulled himself down, but he did have Vic as a shield. Like he was like a, a medium player. Like he wasn't a big threat, but he wasn't like no threat. He was on the block six times. He got off the block when he needed to by winning vetoes. He was cool with just about everybody. But then he wasn't afraid to speak his mind. Here's the conflicting argument with Paul. There's Paul the person, and then there's Paul the player. Right, yeah. Paul the player is phenomenal. Nobody sitting up here can deny that. Paul the person, calling you a name, rubbing people the wrong way. So he's what kind of person in real life? Evil dick. Obnoxious. <laughs> so he's obnoxious? He's mean. But he, he's admitted, he's admitted he's to mean. everybody that he's a... He owns it, okay. he does own it. Does that uh, absolve you? No, no. it doesn't, oh, okay. not at all. At the end of the day, he's played a great game, but words that have come out of his mouth are very unforgivable. So if someone says something rude to you, you're not gonna give them the money? I am bitter towards Paul, I'm not gonna deny that. But they've all been playing great games because they're still their final three. Michelle, what was Nicole's best move and why should Nicole win the game? Um, come back to me. <laughs> Day, what was her one best move? Convincing him to get me out. That was her biggest move. That's a sad biggest move. <laughs> she not only kept herself safe, but she kept the person closest to her safe as well. And then seeing her turn up and win competitions, she friggin' did it. Well, there's less people to play. Nicole still hasn't been on oh, the block. Oh, she was on the block right this week. Well, Sorry. if you can let me finish, I will finish my sentence. She sent home Jose, I'm sorry, but Mr. Jenkins could have got out Jose. <laughs> she took the easiest route out. Instead of taking big threats out of the house, she took Michelle out. That was a big move that she did. Really? You know, she could have gone after Me? them. She went for you, because that was the, strategically the smartest, no, most beneficial mm, move That was ever. a personal game move. No, not even this much. The reason why they chose me, because they had you two working exactly, with them. Exactly, exactly. That's, so that's pure strategy. strategy. Why are you guys all looking at me? I'm gonna cry. Did you just come in the house not liking Can her? Can we just change the subject? Well, we're talking about Nicole, and you seem like you have a very strong opinion about Nicole. But it's also, I don't think she did, like, anything, in my opinion. <laughs> and Corey, stop giving that ugly smile, please. Oh, it's ugly? Not ugly, but it's just really making me upset. Oh, Michelle, I'm not... Don't get upset. Come you just on, keep, Michelle. like, like don't laughing get upset. at me. I'm not Why laughing at you. Yes, he is. <laughs> Michelle... Oh, <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm literally just telling you that it was a strategic move sending you home. It was nothing personal okay, at all. Okay, good. Look, end of subject. Bridget, what do you think? I think that where Nicole's game fails is that a lot of girls coming into jury are bitter. She really stuck with her guy's alliance. 
Y'all know Nicole was not my cup of tea. The whole time I've been in the jury house, I've been wanting her to come walking through them doors. But all personal feelings aside, she's still sitting there. She lined herself up with men to protect her and to guard her because she learned her lesson from the last time. For us vets, this was about redemption. And I cannot believe I'm sitting here building a case for Nicole. <laughs> but, but Nicole, no shade to you men, but she was Geppetto and y'all were Pinocchio. That's how I yeah. feel that, but I don't think she played a better game than Paula James. No oh, idea what it's giving you, Kevin. You just said Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that just defines a puppet master this summer. You're sulking already. The incredible sulk has started already. I know. <laughs> Matt, name three things you were known for this summer. You're the incredible salt. That's what America views you as. And does anybody have cereal for you, Matt? Right, you did absolutely huh? nothing. Yeah, that worked for me. And you're proud of that. That's pathetic, Matt. That's pathetic. A little drama queen. <laughs> no, no, no. But how are you a puppet master if you came in sixth place? Mark, guess what? You hit the jury house way before I did. I never said I was a great player. Super fan. Yeah, okay, dude. Sit down. See, I am sitting down, Matt. Well, Matt, well, you did absolutely nothing in the game. <laughs> Keep saying Mr. Stop Salt, it. come Stop up it. with something new, Matt. You were irrelevant. Absolutely, bro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why did you not scream at Paul? Why are you not mad at him when it's obvious he screwed you? What do you want me to do? Get up there in front of the nomination and start screaming? I want screaming? you to knock his teeth out. I'm just not that type of person, Jason. From the get-go, I think people saw that Josh was emotionally unstable, and they used that to their benefit. So I think the reason he's there right now is honestly pure luck. I don't think he played the best game. Same here. I mean, he just used what he had to and was loud and obnoxious and aggressive, and then he would pout and cry. I, I just don't respect Josh as a dude in general. Okay. Overall. Josh realized instantly that his role was to be like a nonviolent psychopath that was extremely <laughs> emotional. <laughs> I don't want to reward bad behavior. And he's just expelled bad behavior the entire time. I don't really respect Josh as a human being. No kidding. I think that the only thing that he has done in the Big Brother game is existed. Cody, can Josh win the game? I mean, I think Paul and Josh are both scum, but at least Agreed. Josh took action while Paul was behind a closed door being a wuss. That's true. Even if he cried after the fact, he would say what he felt to your face. But he had this game served up on a silver platter for him. He was able to play with three weeks of safety unfettered. But you were benefited from the halting hex and other things as well. Barely. And the battle back? I don't know how much of an advantage I had in the game. But there were 10 or 11 weeks after him getting safety that you could have just cut him off. Yeah. Many, many more evictions, many, many more opportunities, and yet they weren't taken. Correct. If I had won an HOH and not been evicted, I would have taken a shot at Paul. But Paul eliminated the people that challenged him the most, that he feared their intelligence, that he was afraid could actually go after them. That's you the game! You don't think that's impressive? He wanted everybody else to do the dirty work. But what he didn't account for was people in the jury house talking about, oh, you had a final three with them since week three. So did we. It was just overplayed. There's a number of duos here on the stage tonight, and you all would have been in a final three with Paul, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You would have not, not been in a final not. three with Paul. We realized that his real alliance is himself. It didn't matter who he backstabbed or who he lied on. He just executed whatever served Paul. With Big Brother, we all lied. Paul was telling me all season that he's going to keep me and play with me. You know how many times he got in my ear to try to convince me that you were counterfeit? I can't be too much counterfeit. I'm here. Oh, still counterfeit. You just got played. He did that with everyone and then tried to turn our duos against each other, backstabbed us, lied to us, manipulated us, which some would say that's how you play Big Brother, and that's fine, but there's such a thing as bitter jury, and I'm a bitter juror. So poor jury management? Very poor jury management. I think he overplayed i think he abused relationships he's trying to make it a personal attack by making sure that every player feels belittled by him i think it's bad gameplay he did things that were hurtful and crossed the line that i am determining as a jury member he over lied it's uncalled for that was part of the game would we backstab i lied once or twice okay alex you reluctantly put up your hand but I think, admittedly, there was some backstabbing or some lying or some blindsiding. Who did I backstab and blindside? Who were the people evicted prior to you? Everybody here, uh, Kevin. And so you didn't have anything to do with those blindsides? You said lying. I didn't lie to anyone. Is fake crying lying? I don't think so. Did you fake cry, Alex? Yeah, to see if Josh was going to play me, and he did. So I lied to Josh, then I guess by your standards. 
he just never lied to somebody's face, just point blank. Like, Paul was in my face day after day. Mark, I have your back. I'm with you and Elena. Then he's going to Jason and saying, we got to get rid of Mark. There was no need for that. See how Paul made it to final three? I think the other two people are in final three because they are non-threats. I don't respect how this season played out, and I don't respect the strategies. I got to say it. Are you guys just sore losers? We all can acknowledge that. Our final three house guests are better than all of you. I'm absolutely a sore loser. I don't know that I ever said that Paul didn't work hard. I don't respect the way he worked. I think they're for We're sure our summer. only option. Yeah, by default. Well, of course they're your only option. <laughs> you have to pick one of the final three.